All right, we got a journal of 2000. The Complete Dummy's Guide to Paramedical Souls, Volume 1. A book I started writing called Christian Philemon about a dream I had of my baby boy like 10 years ago. On this one, I'll be right out, Tammy. On this side, Paramedic of Souls, Volume 3, Charlie McVoid and the Eternal Reoccurrence, not to be confused with Nietzsche's, Nietzsche's concept of the Eternal Recurrence. We got a, one of the 25,000 handwritten Paramedic of Souls, Volume 1, Maitreya and Matt. My most priceless notebook, Super Movie the Movie. And something here about the second American Revolution. So, so I'm in a fucking uh, outlandish, prolific mood. I think we'll start with this one. Open the door. And that fucking the psychedelic orange in. So this is like the fourth fucking recording I've tried to do. The first time the microphone wasn't working and fucking I had to scrub that 11 minutes. So this notebook that I found downstairs, um, Star Filled Body by Christian, Fi Christian McVoid. Book one, The Second American Revolution, you motherfucker. Anywho, let's see if this fucking, like, 11 minute, like, recording doesn't fucking screw up somehow. The Second American Revolution. Establishing the inviolable supremacy and authority of the universal rights of womankind. Two, methods to counteract future tyrannies. The Second American Revolution. What a coincidence, since I made a two-hour movie today called The Second American Revolution. This book smells like it was made by God, like bound together by Jesus, and moist and shut with like Claudia Schiffer's pussy juice. It reads as follows. This is a last lightning for the natural right to use like a weapon of clarity against what is coming. What follows is not concerned to exhaustively prove all the incidents and cases and or the arguments that a subterfuge as conspiracy is in the works for control of the future of the human race on Earth. Let's assume it's true and just rehearse effective countermeasures. What follows concerns last-ditch efforts to thwart, once again, tyrannical hands from enslaving the righteous, rational freedom of the fucking good. The martial art philosophy of Aikido suggests when an opponent makes an overtly offensive maneuver, they open up, if ever briefly, a vulnerable opening for defensive attack by which their offensive momentum and trajectory may be opposed. If one prepares oneself, ASAPP, ideally and practically, to use their own future and our numbers, and we outnumber them like fucking 380 million like to one or something, you know what I mean? Like, we're gonna like fucking get snuffed by like a million fucking losers that were responsible for Kennedy's head going back into the left. Like, what is it, like a million and a half max on a planet of eight billion people? And we're letting them fucking, like, fuck us every day of our lives? Take away the fucking Bill of Rights? Suck a fucking worthless turd. Anyhow. Fucking it reads here, uh... On a personal level, on a level specific to this particular time in history, and on a galactic universe level... One amongst many, hopefully you, may be ready for any and all things. The natural and 
unalienable rights of womankind are for all time, past, present, and future, inviolable, self-evident, and of righteous, supreme, ultimate, and intrinsic good worth, and finally, good authority, case fucking closed. The universe and your existence, which is its finite epicenter of your advantage. Bear with me. You electric orange. Your mother Hubbard fucking a pinata. Your mother Hubbard fucking a pinata. Your mother Hubbard with a corn dog limb. Oh! In the mountain sky. Hey, yeah. Don't ever, especially in light of history's many examples, put it beyond the realm of possibility, and in fact, freedom lovers should uh, be prepared like for any possibility. That man's underside couldn't be capable of trying to scheme in the most high-level scheming to affect a world domination. As if all such things vanished into thin air when Hitler blew his fucking brains out. N-word please. We must be on guard from world domination ambitions, and woe is our time in distinction from all previous known histories. The nature of the technicolor advanced modern perplexer is most woeful to consider. Check out the Zapruder film, Google the Warren Commission, Executive Orders from Hell, Executive Order 11,000, the NDAA Act, which about eight miles down the bill after going through like fucking the provisions in the law that fucking Obama passed on New Year's Eve right underneath our nose that a lot of people are in a stink about, but no one actually read like an eighth of an eighth of way down the five-mile stretch of fucking shit that's in it. And then they put the little paragraph in vague, nebulous language about how they can throw U.S. citizens in jail and disregard the right to a speedy trial, a lawyer, fucking due process. Like, after you get, like... Dogs that served in Afghanistan and Iraq, who's like masters, who were soldiers gunned down in the NDNA law, I fucking read it about a mile and a half down, is the law of the provisions of who gets first dibs for that dog when the soldier is killed in action. And then after that, there's like three and a half miles of like provisions for who gets first dibs and priority on government paid like travel vouchers. And then, like, eight miles down is, you shall be thrown in military, like, judicial system without recourse to your guaranteed inalienable rights to due process, fucking legal representation, and uh, indefinite imprisonment if you represent a threat to national security. That paragraph is the threat to national security, and whoever wrote it and was responsible and had a hand in passing that little paragraph is guilty of treason, and treason in the Constitution is the only crime mentioned as, like, fucking qualifying for the death penalty, which is why I write the fucking Second American Revolution. If you can't see it, I ain't got no time to prove it to you anyhow. I just feel it, and you know it too. The hour's late. Here's what you could do to prepare in various ways if it is true. <sighs> There's a fuzzy but certain line, and if world domination is afoot with horrific modern intelligence backing it, there's a line that must be crossed. Hmm. The rights of man have been established and conditioned into the masses of freedom-loving peoples around the world, and especially in the United States and Canada. When the line is crossed, there will be an uprising, a righteous worldwide revolt, an attempt at an improvised life-or-death second American revolution. With any providence as our allied forces, may the spirit of 76 rise again! Wow! The inalienable rights of man are inalienable. If devices exist upon world dominations of any future mankind, if in its secret knowings is willing to infringe upon another's inalienable rights, then it is inalienable. 
inalienably illegal, and you should now get privy to the presumptuous claims to any moral high ground and all other manner of confusing smoke screens, lo logical fallacies, coercions, threats of physical pain, threats to the ones you love, that, like, fucking the no-good fucking evil cop-sucking double-dealing, like, old tyrannical fucking will of the jungle that, like, ever since we left the trees and fucking gained self-awareness, like, it's been, like, fucking, what, a 5,000-year struggle to shake off that fucking vestigial will to power other people for no other reason. <sighs> fucking F off, man. I'm almost done. Ah. <sighs> You should now get privy to the presumptuous claims to any moral high ground which doesn't exist on the part of all, like, fucking tyrannical ambitions. They use smoke screens, coercions, threats of pain, threats of death, threats of pain and death against your loved ones, which is the worst thing imaginable. See the Martin Luther King video I shot earlier. That may be in current or future use to deceive from the truths we hold to be self-evident. If this book is true and somehow made it virally into the world before it could possibly be censored or discredited, the honed high group intelligence of the ambitious ones probably have multiple backup plans for every possible scenario, including this message getting out too quick for them. Then, oh shit, somebody got a message out before we could put a lock on the internet. Fucking everyone knows. We're gonna have to go with like protocol 47B1112. Like up the false flag nuclear attack up to like two weeks from now. And like try to instill terror and fucking like martial law and like fucking. They're leading us to a mass kill event because the only thing standing in the way of ultra modern fucking technological secret no good fucking inferior pieces of shit and that's a fucking insult to feces is the masses that we possess, our numbers, like, are the only thing holding them back. And can you see the fucking chemical trails in the sky? Um, chemists, do your fucking, like, experiments and test the air. It's got, like, 700 times the parts per million of fucking barium and aluminum fucking oxide, whatever, sulfate. Fucking erasing the rights of man, the Bill of Rights, in a paragraph eight miles down in the NDNAA bill passed on New Year's Eve by the fucking Mr. Barack Obama. Fucking one of our fucking Bill of Rights has been effaced with nebulous language. And where's the document that says what constitutes a national threat? And we all know that the fucking people that put that in there are the national threat. Fuck you. Oh shit, wrong meeting. Bye, man.